Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be comparing the power data from my Wahoo Kicker Snap Smart Bike Trainer against the power meter on my crank set. I want to see if there's a significant difference between the power numbers they're providing. And going into this test, I felt like the crank set power meter was going to provide much higher numbers than the Smart Trainer. I just installed this power meter, which is the 4i Ultegra R8000 left side power meter. And based on my first few rides with it, I was seeing power numbers much higher than I've been used to when I'm riding indoors on Zwift with the Smart Trainer. To put this in perspective, my typical hours long indoor bike ride uh, averaged around 160 watts, but with my first ride with the new power meter was around 180 watts, followed by an indoor climb with the power meter up out to Zwift, where I averaged 195 watts for an hour and a half. Clearly something seemed different. I wanted to find out if the difference was only in my head or if the smart trainer had been reading low power numbers, uh, perhaps because of powertrain losses or user error. So today I put the power meters to test in Zwift. First by using a custom workout to hold wattage of the smart trainer at 100, 200, and then 300 watts for one minute each. And second, uh, a 10 minute free ride test where I'd compare the average power reported by the smart trainer against that reported by the power meter. In both tests, I paired the Smart Trainer to Zwift and the Power Meter to my bike computer. The stated accuracy of the Wahoo Kicker Snap is plus or minus 3%, and the stated accuracy of the 4i Power Meter is plus or minus 1%. The net tolerance is therefore 4%, and any difference within this amount is to be expected. Now for the results. You could see that for the most part, the difference is within the net tolerance of the power meters, uh, for the most part, the left leg power meter seems to average a little higher than the smart trainer. However, the most interesting result is the 10 minute free ride where the power meter averaged 5% lower than the smart trainer. This is the opposite result of what I expected, so I dug in a little further. Here is the power versus time plots for the smart trainer in purple and the power meter in green. There are two notable differences. First, uh, the green power meter plot is more variable or spiky, uh, to use a non-technical term. This can probably be attributed to the placement of the power meter very early in the powertrain, whereas the smart trainer is measuring at the very end of the powertrain and is therefore a bit dampened. The second difference is that there are sections of the green power meter plot which are clearly averaging below the purple smart trainer plot and sections that just do not match at all. After a bit of research, it seems that this is most likely due to using a left side only power meter. By using a left sided power meter, I'm only measuring the power output in my left leg. I would need a dual sided power meter to measure both legs and get a more accurate comparison to the smart trainer. It is very possible that I have a left right leg imbalance during this particular ride as my left leg does tend to be the weaker leg after long endurance efforts and I just completed a solid effort up the Alps to Zwift uh, the evening prior to this test. The results were pretty surprising to me because I was convinced that the power meter is giving me higher numbers and it is still entirely possible that when well rested my left leg is working harder and feeding the power meter with more watts than my right leg. But for now, it ended up being a good lesson in how our perception of ride difficulty can vary day to day, and that there are other factors at play which can greatly influence your performance on any given ride, such as recovery, nutrition, being outdoors, or simply being excited about a new piece of gear. Leave a comment below if you have any other questions or suggestions for ways to better test the difference, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.